Hello, good day everyone, this is Sandra again, and now we're going to discuss PLC Programming Training Part 22. Okay, let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have one push button and one selector switch. If the selector switch is off and PB1 is pressed, lamp 1 will turn on after 4 seconds. If the selector switch is on and PB1 is pressed, Lamp 1 will turn on after 2 seconds. Ok, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. As you can see here, because the selector switch is off, Lamp 1 turns on after 4 seconds. Now let's turn on the selector switch. And let's press PB1. And because the selector switch is on, lamp 1 turns on after 2 seconds. Okay? I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer for this exercise. As you can see here, because selector switch is off, the value of D0 here is 40. And if the value of D0 is 40, the timer here will have 4 seconds. Now let's press PB1. Okay. The timer is activated and that will cause the normally open contact of T0 here to turn on and that will make Y0 to turn on. Now, after turning on the selector switch, the value of D0 now is 20 which makes the timer preset value 2 seconds. Now let's press PV1 and that's it. The timer is activated after 2 seconds and that will make Y0 to turn on. Okay, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push button and one selector switch. If the selector switch is off and PB1 is pressed 4 times, lamp 1 will turn on. If the selector switch is on and PB1 is pressed 2 times, lamp 1 will turn on. If PB2 is pressed, lamp 1 will turn off. Take note, this problem is same as episode 8 exercise 4, but this time you will see a different solution. Okay, let's have our demonstration. The selector switch is on. It means we need to press PB1 2 times to make lamp 1 turn on. 1, 2. Okay, let's press PB2. And the lamp turns off. Now, let's turn off the selector switch. Let's press PB1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then now, let's press PB2. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer for this exercise. Now that the selector switch is on, it will make the value D0 equivalent to 2. And as you can see here, because the preset value of the counter is equivalent to D0, that will make the counter preset value equivalent to 2. Now let's press PB1. 1, 2. 
After the count of 2, the normally open contact of C0 here will be closed. That will make Y0 to turn on. Now let's press PB2. When we press PB2, X1 will be energized. That will make counter 0 to reset. And because of that, the normally open contact of C0 here will go back to its initial state and that will make Y0 to turn off. Now that we turn off the selector switch, the value of D0 here will become 4. And because of that, the preset value of the counter here will become 4. Now let's press PB1. 1, 2, 3, 4. After 4 counts, the normally open contact of C0 here will be closed. That will make Y0 to turn on. And now let's press PB2. After pressing PB2, X1 will be energized and that will make the counter 0 here to reset. C0 here will go back to its initial state and that will make Y0 to turn off. Okay, that's it. Now let's go to our next exercise. Okay, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Please like our Facebook page. And click see first to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please put a comment nice below. Exercise 3. Edit a program from episode 21, exercise 2. This is the sequence from our last tutorial. We need to edit this sequence. And as you can see here, the sequence is almost the same. The only difference here is instead of turning on lamp 1 once and it will go back here, lamp 2 need to blink twice before it goes back here. And now let's review our last program. This is the original program here. We have our program analysis. Now let's press PB1. And as you can see here, because X0 is energized, M0 will turn on here. And because there is a latching here, M0 will not turn off even if X0 is not energized anymore. And because M0 is on, that will make Y0 to turn on. And as you can see here, T0 will be activated after 1 second. And because T0 is activated, the normally closed contact of T0 here will be open. And that will make Y0 to turn off. And the normally open contact of T0 here will be closed. That will make Y1 to turn on. And T1 will be activated after 1 second. And after T1 is activated, the normally closed contact here will be open. That will make Y1 to turn off. And the normally open contact of T1 here will be closed. That will make Y2 to turn on. And T2 here will be activated after 1 second. Then, after T2 is activated, the normally closed contact of T2 here will be open that will make Y2 to turn off and the normally open contact of T2 here will be closed that will make Y1 to turn on again and the normally open contact of T2 here will activate T3 after 1 second and because T3 is activated the normally closed contact of T2 here will be open that will make all the timer here to be deactivated. And because all the timer is deactivated, all the normally closed contact of the timer here will go back to its initial state. 
and as you can see here y0 will turn on again and the cycle will just repeat unless m0 here will turn off and to turn off m0 we need to energize x1 by pressing pb2 and the cycle will not repeat again okay let's have our simulation let's press pb1 Okay, that's it. Now, this is the device sequence. Let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer.